All um, right, it's official. I gotta turn in my black card, and I'll tell you why. So I was in a live um, where the topic was why wouldn't you vote for Kamala? And of course I stated all of my reasons. And as a result, I was told that I'm a coon and I need to turn in my black card, mm. not supporting black women. So then I thought about it, I was like, you know what, I've had that card for almost 60 years. I got that. And let me stop right there. Cause you know, I'm gonna always play it back and I gotta get back to the thick of things. But first I wanna make sure that y'all know that I always link back to the content creator. Uh, if I can find a content creator, so that will be down in the description. And then on top of that, make sure y'all tap into that Teach Henley, 40% off your first order, 20% off for life. And then we got Stock Club, that's inside of the Patreon. If you're not a bag chaser, if you're not a Patreon member, the link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Now, I am no stranger to being called out of my name, especially by those that look like me. And you know I'm going to rewind it back and I got to play it from the beginning. But I just want to say this, and then I want to get the full context of what she's saying. Um, I've been called out of my name by people that look like me. If you ever have a thought that's different from them, or even if you agree with them, real talk, like they going to call, look, they going to say what you ain't. They going to say you ain't never been raised in a hood. It don't matter where you come from. They going to question your background. They going to call you a sellout. They going to call you everything like she just described. And so they going to always try to shame you into doing something because they don't feel comfortable doing it themselves. They don't want to be alone in their wrong. People that are wrong don't want to do it by themselves. People that are right are comfortable taking the path regardless of what other people say. <laughs> Let me say it again, because this is really what a black card is. People that are wrong always want a partner when it comes to doing wrong. People that are right don't mind going at it alone because their conviction and what it is that they believe is enough. They don't need any cheerleaders. They don't need anybody to push them along or anything like that. Sometimes if you knew to it, if you knew to what it is that you know is the right thing to do, you might need a little bit of hand holding, but you don't need nobody putting no battery in your back. And that's the difference. Let me rewind this. We're going to start from the beginning and we're going to get the full context. It's crazy out here in these streets, man. All right. It's official. I got to turn in my black card. And I'll tell you why. So I was in a live um, where the topic was, why wouldn't you vote for Kamala? Of and of course, I stated all my reasons. And as a result, I was told that I'm a coon and I need to turn in my black card for not supporting black women. So then I thought about it. I was like, you know what? I've had that card for almost 60 years. I got that card oh. ever since birth. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. If you're telling me that this woman is 60... I don't believe it. She's up in her... See, we changing the whole conversation right now. I know I got her stuck on a bad part. Hold on, okay. let me see. And I'm if you telling me that this woman is 60 years old, I don't want the card either. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Let me get back to it. Like, okay, so what privileges did I get with that card? Thanks. Hmm. Now, to be honest, I can't think of anything. I've never really used it. You know, for any discounts or anything of that nature. It's not like it, you know, put me in the front of the line or <laughs> gave me any type of privileges. So, you being catty. You know what? I'm lying. I take it back. It does allow you to age gracefully. I mean, I'm almost 60. And look at me. She looks I great. Look dang good. She does. So, it is with... Got them real baby hairs popping, not them fake ones. Got the real ones popping. Great regret that I will be turning in my black card. So if you know the address where I should send this card to, or should I just cut it up? You could just cut it up and throw it away. It's nothing for you to worry about, baby girl. You're going to age gracefully no matter what. But the fact of the matter is, is that I'm not really sure. Now that she's saying this, and when we really got to make a point, I'm not really sure what the privileges are of holding on to this proposed code or being a part of this community that don't even really got no power anyway. Honestly, outside of them finessing y'all and having a conversation with y'all about why y'all should do something that's not in y'all best interest and all they got to do is sell you a little piece of candy and you're going to rock out anyway. I've always believed that the selling out was the people that continued to do the thing that was worse for the community. 
that the selling out was protecting the drug dealers and the killers. The selling out was a no snitching, especially from people that wasn't participating in the crime, which that's not even technically snitching. The selling out was the fact that you was okay with people poisoning your community and then you said free Ray Ray after they got the t-shirt and they got locked up for something that they wasn't supposed to do. I always believed that the selling out was the fact that we wasn't free thinkers and we hold hold each other accountable for the right things. I didn't realize that I was being held down until my father realized at a very young age, and I'm very glad that I got this lesson at a young age, that my father realized at a very young age when I was getting in trouble while I was going to public school in a, in, in a black community that uh, he needed to send me for lessons to change my perspective. And so in middle school, uh, instead of him buying a new car, and you guys are familiar with the story, he decided to send me to a private school. And then I realized that, wait a minute, right is not wrong and wrong is not right. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And so then I got this lesson before I went back into going to Detroit public schools in which I did graduate from the greatest high school uh, in Detroit, Cass Tech. Shout out to all my technicians out there. Um but I absolutely realized that, wait a minute, what we was being taught in our community is off. And so ever since then, it's been downhill as far as me being accepted a lot of times from the community that thought that they was doing it right. But then they didn't realize, you know, I had a, I had a friend that called me probably about three, three or four months ago. And uh, we went to high school together and he's doing okay. And he said, Anton, you know what I'm saying? Because I've always been kind of radical as far as my thoughts to other people. I didn't feel like I was radical. I just thought that I was thinking differently. I thought that I was thinking logically in order to question, hey, listen, why are we doing it that way? Why is everybody just going that way? How come y'all just, just blind me going this way? You see what happened to him? He a crackhead. You know, I don't want to smoke. So I got called or I was talking to a, a person that ran into me and we exchanged numbers and we had a conversation. And so we was really, really cool in high school. But we wound up losing touch. And so I talked to him and he was like, yo, time, I never told you this. Shout out to Strat. He said, uh, I never really told you this, but man, you did it the right way, bro. He said, all of that stuff that we was into and the stuff that in the way that we played it, you had it right, bro. At 42 years old, actually, I think that I was uh, 41 at the time because I'm 42 now. I turned 42 in April. At 41 years old, in our 40s, in our early 40s, you know, I'm getting people from my past that tapped in with me and said, yeah, bro, you did it the right way. You had the, you had the blueprint all along. You were steadfast in what you stood in. And so when it comes to being in the community, and for all of you younger people that's not sure what your journey is going to be yet, let me encourage you by saying that. Stand 10 toes down on your pivot, bro. Don't compromise. Don't think that you got to be a part of the in crowd or that you got to participate with diversity, equity, and inclusion in order to be accepted. You don't. You good on your own principles, on your own standards, on your own morals. It's enough to just stand on what's right instead of standing on what's black. Real talk. And so I'm not concerned with what people think about me. Uh, I found my community and I'm going to lead my community. And so I'm going to be at the forefront of the movement of the people that reject the stuff that these boomers gave us in yesteryear because they was wrong. I'm not wrong. They was wrong. Y'all let me know what y'all think inside of the comments. Again, make sure y'all tap into the Patreon. Uh, link is in the description. And again, Teach Hanley, thank you for sponsoring what we got going on. 40% off your first order, 20% off of life. This woman looks incredible, especially for being almost 60. I don't know what she got going on, but she is aging gracefully. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Can't wait to check out what y'all got to say inside of the comments. See y'all on After Hours, bro.